Right. But my question is, you said the second paragraph. Okay, first of all, really going to reach out to uh, overseas customers, partners. Right. Through the internet, Google, something else. Right. Is it effective? Or, or, uh, or third parties. Eh? So there is a lot of, actually, there are a lot of, do you remember that we went to this, uh, to this uh, uh, market, uh, this market for uh, going global, there was this, uh, it was, at, uh, where was it, Shinju? No, Shinju was in Akihabara. Akihabara, that time. So, mm. so there are a lot of companies who are actually like, want to be intermediates and, and, but basically what they're doing is just, they just use Google and they just uh, have some local people who can, uh, who can um, give you a list of companies, right? So to find those companies has become a lot simpler. If you pay a little money, if you use Google, etc. But then actually to go out, talk with these people and, 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 and go out and communicate in a language that you don't know, with business practices that you don't know, there are no service providers for that. I uh, worry about how to find out a reliable partner. Right. How, how to find that reliable partner? Because uh, <coughs> okay, I joined a kind of conference and congress. I can meet with many people. Right. But how are we going to trust people? Hmm. That's, uh, that, that's very difficult and it usually takes time. And it usually will require that you will, you will make a mistake once or twice. But gradually, if things go well, if you pay your partner well, if you have somebody local, if you have somebody you can trust, uh, that, uh, and you pay them well enough so that they will be on your side, so that they have an interest yeah, in Yeah, in many cases, uh, one of the uh, recruiting company told me, okay, if you're going to develop overseas and you need to go to uh, meet with Jetro, Takashi no Jetro. Yeah, I know Jetro too. So he said, but I don't know what's the best way to find out a business partner. If you go into overseas business, how are you going to do that? Right. So actually, you should ask that question to Takashi because he has an overseas partner, right? Yeah, but uh, his business is already. He does not need to find out. A business but I think partner. everywhere where, where Takashi san goes, uh, you will make you make a point out of developing new business partnerships, right? Yeah, if Vietnam is Takashi knows some people and also Kimoto knows Marimba, Myanmar. Malaysia, Malaysia. Mm. Takashi maybe knows somebody in Myanmar, maybe so to figure out some group because his friend is uh, Vietnamese, maybe uh, he has uh, several countries network to be introduced. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's it's one step at a time, and sometimes goes wrong. What are, what are your experience uh, experiences with uh, developing uh, partnerships with uh, with uh, local people, local companies, uh, Takai san He has a partner in, in Vietnam. Right, but what are what are your experiences? Is that was that an easy process? Is that uh, a process of 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 uh, falling down and getting up and gradually developing it, or is it still an ongoing thing where you need to hedge your risks? Um, yeah, I made, made a partnership, for example, in Vietnam through the one project, uh -huh. uh, which was ODA. <coughs> uh -huh. I was I was introduced by main contractor in ODA project to make some support, technical support. Uh -huh. Then also I sold the some products to this local company. Uh -huh. This is the fast contact. So they started as a as a customer actually. Is that is that correct? Uh yes, customer. Right. Then I think the point is what we can do after the fast contact to deepen that relationship. Right. So basically, you were looking for for good customers, then and then uh, take it from there. But this is yeah, it's different from each cases. So can you tell a little bit more about that? So, so what are uh, what is a typical successful example? You don't need to name names, but what what is the, did your best? Uh, what is the best case scenario that you you have? 
Okay, what I, what I did uh, with the partner in Vietnam, uh, I was given opportunity to work for them um, for technical support or <clears throat> to to make a barrier for our solution okay. uh, in ODA project. So uh, not only uh, supporting through the product that that we sold, but um, I made some further effort to support their operation, support their position, uh, support their the scope of the working ODA project. Okay. By uh, by sending some uh, engineers from Japan to their office to hold some workshops, to uh, thereby our engineer and their engineer. Um, can talk and work together, sitting together. So this is not our the, the business where we can get some uh, some sales. Right. Right. That, so that's, that, that's just basically you kind of uh, uh, you developed the relationship by basically uh, first helping them to to grow their their business without taking taking any share from that business but by basically investing in their in the relationship um, and 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 after that what happened how did that how did this relationship start to turn beneficial also uh, for you yeah I tried to uh, the whole this kind of uh, interactive discussion through technical teams right then eventually I got to know uh, which section is working how uh -huh. for, for what kind of projects. Hmm. So I, I I I was I was getting understand more more and more in detail. Um, this I included in some inside in the information inside of this company. Okay. Um, I also I was also known by a software team, technical team, procurement team, and pre-sales team, sales team, the accounting team. So it's, it was getting much easier for me to contact to the top management. Right. Because the each section know know me. Right. Then each person knows me. Then uh, was given more opportunities to access to top management to make um, some the proposal. Right. Of what we can potentially work together. Not only the that on the relationship of the supplier and the customer. Right. So I did. Um, made presentation and it's some suggestion proposal that how we can work work together as a partner. Right. So basically, you after that you started to uh, pitch on projects that were not ODA related, so different in different areas. Right. Right. Using their capacity and skills and your network uh, yeah. uh, uh, to actually grow their business further. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a uh, did you have a uh, uh, a trusted person, a central person that you would always engage with, like one a one on one relationship with uh, with with I don't know, maybe at the sales department or maybe somebody at the engineering department, or is there, was there anyone in particular who helped you to actually get in touch with all these the decision makers within the different uh, divisions? Um. Yeah, actually, I had the one guy uh, as entry point, right, to let me understand who is this guy is working which department. Then this guy called me to join some meetings. <clears throat> then yeah, entry point, right, the guy of the entry point. Then after that, I tried to make my own effort to open. And to go in detail. 